We start with Ellen Siegel, followed by Chris Ryan. Hi, Dante. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing, Alan? Uh, thank you. I want to ask you a little bit about building the foundation of the defense. As you think about last night, were there plays that you guys were able to execute last night uh, to completion that maybe thinking back a couple of weeks ago, you couldn't have done that? And is that how you measure where you are in terms of going forward? Um, I think that um, you can obviously tell that as a defense, we're starting to grow together um, and starting to not really form our form an identity or whatever, but I think we're starting to finally uh, starting to get to where we're playing, where where we know where we need to be playing. Um, I don't. Um, I, hope, I hope that answers your question. Uh, just okay. I'll get more specific. Were there plays last night that you made as a defense that maybe, you, as you think back, you couldn't have made a couple of weeks ago or didn't make a couple of weeks ago? Um. I, I couldn't answer that. Um, I know I could tell you that there was plays that we didn't make in the past that um, we obviously felt like we should have made. But, I mean, um, I, I feel like, um, you know, in hindsight, that's what you would say after every game. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll just follow it up again with just saying that uh, that we, we all feel like we're moving in the right direction and we're we're, we're, we're doing the right things. We just uh, need, needed a little bit more uh, continuity. Thank you, Dante. No problem. Next question, Chris Ryan, followed by Mike Reese. Hey, Dante, do you feel like you know, this defense is playing you know, winning football at this point in time where you kind of have that foundation, but it's going to just building upon it? Could you ask that first part again? I'm sorry. Do you feel like you, know, you guys are playing you know, winning football right now where you're, the defense is in a spot where you're, you're giving your team a chance to win? Um, uh, you know, the the job of a defense is to keep the to to not let the opposing team score. So, um, you know, any time that you know we can come in, we play a really good team, a really good offense, like we played, and um, you know, slow those guys down and and limit a lot of a lot of the big shots and big plays um, that you know that that the offense is like they come accustomed to. Um, you know, we feel like we, we're we're kind of you know doing our job, but. Um, you know, anytime you can stop the big plays and, you know, if they get down in the red zone and you can play good in the red red area and, and you know, make guys k uh, kick field goals, um, you know, we that's, that's you know, part of winning football. And Matthew Judon has been a player has been so fun to, to watch so far. Um, how would you describe him as a player and what he's brought to the defense and also as a, as a person? Uh, just a great dude. I uh, love him. Um, you know, ever since he's got here, he's always uh, one inclined to work hard and one who's kind of really led by example um, as far as, you know, whether it be, you know, wanting to do extra workouts or wanting to do extra drills or something after practice. Um, and, it, and it goes to show that, you know, a lot of guys uh, see that and pick up on it and feed off of it and um, more or less off the field, but on the field, too, especially. Um, you know, whenever you need a good rush and a good spark on defense or a momentum swing, you know, Judy uh, has been showing up for us. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that uh, I can call him a teammate. Thanks. All right, next question, Mike Reese. And I encourage anybody else to raise a hand if you have a question for Dante. Thanks, Stacey. Dante, how are you doing today? How are you doing, Mike? Good, good. I had two. Um, and the, the first is mm -hmm. um, one about, like, sort of human emotion, right? And so we're coming off, uh, you're coming off a game against the defending Super Bowl champions, Brady, just a lot. Of, and you felt the energy, I'm sure, last night in the stadium. And now you're going to turn the page to a road game against the Texans. And I think human emotion might be to exhale, you know, or at least from my perspective. How do you resist that if that is, you know, how do you fight that, Dante, if that is indeed something that is reality from your view? Oh, uh, point blank and simple. I mean, I, I mean, we don't have um, the record or the the comfort to to want to exhale. I mean, if anything, um, you know, playing against um, a team as good, you know, like you said, Super Bowl champs last year, and um, obviously a, a really good team this year, both you know, offensively and defensively, they're stacked, um, and you know, to come, you know, fall short or whatever. Um, you don't you don't really exhale off of that. You know, you, you want to build off of that. And, you know, 
uh, each week, you know, we feel like we've gotten better. You know, we've um, maybe not, you know, 100 percent better, you know, each week, but we've gotten better. And those are the things that that, that count. You know, you want to get better each week. So, um, you know, not happy or comfortable with obviously with the record, but with the work and the hard work and the, the grit and resilience that everybody's showing, man, it's it's you know, it, it, it brings energy, if anything. And then um, my other one was on just your your impressions of Jelani Tavai, if I'm saying it right. He's been up the last two weeks from the practice squad. He played a little more on defense last week, not this. I think he had like one snap yesterday. What has it been like just working with him? And what have you noticed about him as he's sort of been more part of what you guys are doing on game day, you know, in the linebacker group? Uh, just a really smart dude. Um, you know, I, I think if, uh, if anything, he might be one of the guys who, who you know, ask maybe not necessarily Mayo questions, but really ask a lot of the older guys, maybe guys that kind of been in the system a little bit longer. Um, obviously, with him coming from Detroit, um, he has, a, you know, a little bit of he has some knowledge of, you know, what we do and, and how we like to do it. Um, so, I mean, he's a really smart kid. He works really hard um, and just, you know, and I enjoy, you know, having him around. Thank you, Dante. Thanks, everyone.